I'll go. I'm gonna okay, go. so here's all of what we got from elk meat. And from an elk, we're going to show you how to cut it up, do some speed video on how to do it. And this is what we got for now. That's one elk right there. All right, this is Outdoors Wild here. And here we got these massive, absolutely massive, huge chunks of what animal you may have guessed? Yes, this was from the elk. Um, now, there's some chunks of meat, and you're probably wondering, how do I do this? Well, we're going to show you what to do, and we're going to start with here, the back straps. And I will note, this is not how big the back straps are. The back straps will probably go to here and up onto that meat. They're huge back straps. This is what meat steaks he got from the back straps already. And um, now he'll uh, show you how to All do right. this meat. This is what you want to do. Take your really nice, sharp buck knife. Just cut, cut down, get that away. And take the knife and kind of, one second, I'm trying to get over here because my head's going to be away. You can take it right there and just kind of cut. You don't need to be too fast at this, but kind of cut all the way across. Then you take it and you just pull it over. Kind of cut that extra meat right there that don't need to be there. And you got this. Got this nice piece of steak. Pull that in the steak pile. Here's some of the other ones we got too. You know, we got over here, got piles and piles of it right here. But I don't know if you can see this, but look at, if you look right here, see how this right here is redder than the one I just cut? It's because the blood been draining out of them. That's why we can't let them stack right there for a little bit. But then you just kind of do it again on the same piece. Kind of cut it across, get all the way to the back, and shakes. All right. All right, this is from the last shoulder. Um, I showed you a high-speed video of it, of course. Pretty sweet, actually. <laughs> this is all off elk. I mean, that's a lot of burgers there. Um, all right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to do the next shoulder. And uh, this time, we're going to give you just a not too long, just a nice little insight of what, what, you, what the idea is, what you want to do, and, and what to expect in this next high-speed video. Alright, so, next. What? Yeah. Okay. Starting. Alright, so Zachary, show us a little of your part here. Alright, what we're gonna do is you, you'll see this little bone right here. Take it. You can see this? And let's bone? do this side first. So, we're gonna take it, cut right along the bone. We're not gonna show you us do the whole thing, just we're gonna show you most of the important parts that you need to know before you start on one of these. And just um, kind of do another one. Shoulders. So you should be able to cut through all the way up to right here. Just like that. And I'll get this, and then just go like this. Finish that cut, make sure that cut's a nice clean cut. And then cut through right here. Take your knife, right towards the end, turn it flat, just like flying a fish. Yeah, so that's a very important part you mostly want to know. I mean, it's not too hard. I think you can catch on to it. The trick to taking off a sh um, meat off the shoulder is to always follow along the bone. You got a circular bone. You want to get around the bone. And it doesn't really matter how you take it off. If you're going to turn it into burger meat, which you most likely will, just these ways, th look at that was easier than just cutting random chunks off, and it'll do it quicker. So now we're just going to work on it, and we'll show you what it looks like um, as we do it. Alright, so, so yeah, this is what we got from this shoulder, I'm sure you could see it in the video. The last shoulder I showed you in the video was the other shoulder, incredibly a lot amount of meat. 
Um, and oh my freaking gosh, there is not any shoulder or anything under there. That is pure burger meat, guys. Unbelievable. All right, on to the next. One. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. This is going to be a little complicated, um, considering that the thickness is probably longer than our knives. But um, there you go. Focused. Uh, so what's going to happen here is we're basically you were going to get a good four roast or even more out of one one uh, thing. So we're going to yeah, um, we're going to just start cutting chunks out and see what happens and how many uh, roasts we get and uh. I guess we'll just see how it turns out. Uh, I'll show you um, high speed of that too. Um, anyways, so we got <laughs> the two huge roasts. Let's see how that goes. All right, um, so like I, I said, um, I don't know if I could show you guys in the other part, is so we took this huge chunk, absolutely massive, we pulled off here, this right here, this, um, that, that right there is what we pulled off of it, um, pretty neat, uh, that's huge mongus. This right here is probably going to be turned to burger meat, but we'll focus on that later. Here is something very important you need to know, as I already cut into it a little bit, but you could tell that it need that it was a part that needed to be cut up. So, as you open in here, a whole new wonders wait for you. This right here, my friends, is a limp node. And if all you guys haven't caught up on your anatomy or anything, a limp node is a thing basically that filters out all the, all the um, nasty stuff in your body. So this is all lymphatic tissue, and it pushes lymph through your body and filters out all the nasty, um, all the nasty, gross, like, germs, and, and when you get sick, your lymph nodes are going to swell up because, obviously, you have a germ and it's filtering it out. So, besides all this science, you want to get that out because, um, an elk like this can most likely make you sick because you're eating all that nasty stuff, and if it, even if you don't get that sick, it's going to be really bad for you. So, you want to make sure you get those out, and that you take your time doing it and that you get all these nasty chunks and uh, if you stay with me a second here and don't get impatient I'll see if I can get at least this limp node right here look at all that nasty stuff um yeah that's that's that you, you don't want that that goes in the bin all right that's good all right um uh, I don't know if you got part of that but uh, as I did is I cut out of the each corner usually had this lymphatic tissue so um lim like your lymph nodes and all this tissue connected to it this is all in this like nasty stuff you can tell it's lymphatic tissue so you don't want that and there will be more than one one lymph node there's about three in every corner and I'm not sure if there's any more in there but you don't want that stuff in there as soon as you get out you can take this section this section, this section, and this section, and you got yourself quartered four rows right there. Okay, all right. Um, so I at least I know you've seen some of the videos here. This is what we got: all the ground meat. We pulled all the meat off the bones and separated most of it and have most of it processed. So we got all the ground meat there. That he's working on some roast. This whole pile right here. That's all roast. And I'll get over here and I can show you. This is all steak, guys. That's all steak. I'm telling you, each steak you probably be full with maybe two of those. 
this is uh, cube stuff. Um, this is uh, for stew, and of course, I mean that is absolutely phenomenal. Gee, look at all that. And uh, this is all the book. That's just all what we took the meat off of. And uh, over here, Jonah's working on some jerky. Of course, you can't make get that much meat without making jerky out of it. So he got some nice, nice strips of jerky here. And that's basically what we got, guys. Um, now what we're gonna do, um, the next big part is we're just gonna cut this up. We're gonna put it through that meat grinder there, and we're gonna have a lot of hamburgers. And we'll do some packaging. I might show some videos of us doing that. Might be a little boring, so I'll speed it up a little bit. But so that, that's basically what we got. So I mean, that's absolutely insane. All right, I'm gonna show you here. Daniel's being annoying with a lot of mama. Anyways, here's what's going on here. We are simply just cutting up into small pieces. That way, it's definitely big enough to fit in here. That way, we can grind it out, put it in the bowl, and have a ton of grind meat, grounded meat, I should say. For delicious burgers. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. Subscribe! <laughs> yeah, subscribe to Outdoors Wild, I guess. Anyways, anyways, that's what we're doing. So, bam. All right, this is what we got going on here. We got all this ground meat again, so much of it. Uh, here, what we're doing here is just putting it through the meat grinder here. It's actually all flip that on. Just basically just getting all what we can to get through here. Crazy, crazy amount of meat. I'm slicing it into the nice size to put through there. And we can put all the meat nice the meat grinder there. It's, uh, I think we're gonna get a lot of, a lot of, a lot of burger meat from this, so it should be pretty cool. I'll probably come back when we have a, a little, little more of this situated. We already got like one bowl done, so. <laughs> yeah, let's dump this next one in a second. Yeah, it should be pretty crazy. So Jonah's packing up all the roast here. Um. And yes, 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 we did it. We finished off all the ground meat. I gave you a short video of us starting the process. Um. So I could turn some more of this meat into jerky. And we're gonna package all that up and that's basically what we got here guys. Um we basically all we have to do is package it up and uh that's how you do an elk. So thanks for watching. Outdoors Wild. <laughs>